Hello and welcome. In today's video, we're going to discuss a feature of the matriarch called round robin mode. Now there's three possible settings that round robin mode can operate in, but we're going to begin by looking at the default behavior that the matriarch ships with, which is a mode called on with reset. Round robin mode is referring to the way that all four oscillators will get allocated as you press notes on the keyboard in two and four voice mode. The on with reset default behavior is referring to having oscillator one always be our dominant oscillator. So if we only play monophonically, oscillator one will get reused over and over rather than cycling through the oscillators. This can be easily heard if I set oscillator one to a sawtooth wave and I play monophonically across the keyboard. We only hear the sawtooth wave, which lets us know that oscillators two, three, or four were not utilized in that passage. So now to hear how the other oscillators get used, we're going to turn oscillator one back to a triangle wave and we're going to set oscillator four to a sawtooth wave. Now, as I play four notes simultaneously, we'll hear oscillator four sawtooth get added in on the last note. Now, in the on with reset round robin behavior, what's going to happen is once oscillator one gets used, we're actually going to end up cycling through oscillators two, three, and four every time we play new notes. So an easy way to hear this is for me to play one note and hold it, and then alternate between two notes on top, and you'll be able to hear the behavior of the cycling of the three oscillators based on oscillator four sawtooth wave. So as you can hear, once I've played a single note, every third note that sounds is our fourth oscillator sawtooth wave, and you can hear it cycling through. So now that we've heard the on with reset behavior, let's go into the matriarchs menu and explore the other settings. So to do this, what I'm going to do is hold the hold button down and the sync enable button, and you'll see that the sync enable will start to blink, letting you know you're in the menu mode. I'm going to be referencing page 68 of the matriarchs manual, and we're going to be looking at parameter 4.2, which is the round robin mode. And that lets us know that our group select key is a G sharp two and the parameter select key is D sharp zero. So I'm going to hit G sharp two and then D sharp zero. Once I've done this, you'll notice that the blinking behavior on the sync enable button changes and it's going to blink four times, pause, and then blink two times, which lets us know that we're changing the round robin setting. So once we're in the settings menu, the bottom three white keys are going to be our three options. D is the default behavior that we just explored, which is on with reset. C is off and E is on. So let's start by just hitting C, selecting off, and then pressing C again to exit the menu. Now I'm going to do the same thing that I did before, where I hold one note and alternate two notes, and let's listen to the difference in the behavior. Notice that the synthesizer never incorporates voice for sawtooth wave because I'm only pressing two or three notes at a time here. But as soon as I add a fourth note, then we'll begin to hear oscillator four and it will start getting cycled with the other voices. So that's a slightly different behavior from on with reset. And lastly, let's look at the final setting, which is just turning round robin mode on always. So I'm going to enter the menu again, hit G sharp two and then D sharp and confirming that I'm changing the right setting once the blinking on the sync enable changes. And then I'm going to hit E twice, once to confirm the setting and once to exit the menu. Now what you're going to notice is even if I press one note over and over, the oscillators will always be cycled and get allocated to a new voice. So let's hear how that sounds. I can hear it even better if I change all the waves to be different. So I'll keep oscillator one as a triangle, but then I'll set oscillator two to a sawtooth, oscillator three to a square, and oscillator four to a pulse. I can also change the octave setting of each oscillator. This can be a really nice way to create a little bit of patterned movement into some of your patches. And let's listen to how it sounds with the arpeggiator where it really will start to shine. 
As you can hear, round robin mode is a really nice way to add some dynamic movement into some of your patches and also to be able to really cater the style of oscillator allocation to your music.